Are you ready? Check your reality. The comments and opinions of this program may be considered offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Uncommon Sense for 2020, where we are going to be covering a New Zealander's nine starter steps to save America from socialism. In today's topic, we are going to be talking about number seven, form a multi-state America first popular alliance. More after these breaks. America! Thank you for listening to Uncommon Sense. If you like our content, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified of upcoming releases and episodes. If there's anything that you'd like to discuss or like for us to discuss on the air, go ahead and give us feedback, leave us a comment below, and we look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Number seven, form a multi-state America first popular alliance. The left has Our Revolution, a nationwide alliance of 600 groups operating both inside and outside of the Democratic Party, operated by Democratic Socialists of America and the Communist Party USA. Our Revolution works in the Democratic primaries to elect far left candidates such as Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, and Ilhan Omar into office. Our revolution isn't subject to Democratic Party discipline, but it does get to choose Democratic candidates. We need an America First umbrella group to operate both outside and inside the Republican Party, even possibly with the Democratic Party in some areas. This organization should be all about pushing the Make America Great Again, America First agenda at every level of government in every state of the Union. Such a movement could harness the en energy of 70 million and, uh, to 80 million Trump voters without being under Republican Party control. America First could unite the Tea Party and MAGA movements, grassroots Republicans, patriotic Democrats, and independents to mobilize tens of millions of voters to transform the GOP into the truly populist, patriotic, MAGA party it should have always been. Take that, Mitch McConnell. Trump is already vetting candidates to stand against Republican House members and senators who betrayed their own base after the 2020 election. America Firsters should register Republicans by the millions to primary out dozens of Republican sellouts in 2022. The America First MAGA movement could own every level of the GOP by 2024. The GOP needs the MAGA movement way more than the MAGA movement needs the Republican brand. And now for the Uncommon Sense Analysis, brought to you by Butch, Billy, and yours truly, Forrest. So you guys, after hearing that article, what are your first thoughts? Initial comments? My uh, initial comment would be, uh, I agree, we need to unite all the unions together. We need to go ahead and, and remain strong as Americans, and I know... I, I say a lot about Democrats. When I say Democrats, I'm talking about the bureaucrats that we elected to represent us, not to lead us, but to represent us. So, uh, but I, I believe a lot of those base are still Amer have American values, and we're going to get those on our side as well. So when it comes to numbers, we're going to have more numbers than them. And hands down, and there's no way that they can possibly say that there is any kind of cheating or collusion or uh, Russian interference or anything like that. Sounds like a football move, Russian interference. So it's interesting that we're reading his thoughts on this because there is a lot of uh, division in the Republican Party right now. Um, a lot of people have been talking about you know, the direction of which the conservative party is going. 
and it's interesting because there's a lot of people trying to make it, you know, a big tent party, and then there's other people that are really pushing for, uh, you know, more Christian values. For an American patriot. Yeah, um, but like, real, what's strong with the Christian values? Yes, yes. And to me, the way that those real kind of hard right people. And if I could put in a quick an yeah go anecdote, ahead. really quick, um. Because it's probably kind of along the same lines of what I was... Well, not only that, if the Republican Party really wants to succeed, they're not going to make it religious. We're supposed to have a separation from religion and state. Do I have any issue with them being Christian and wanting to uphold Christian values and that being their thing? No, not at all. But, you know, that is something that I'm worried about, is that they're actually going to be losing support Mm -hmm. and that the that the Republican Party is going to essentially get split up into several independents. Yeah. Well, no, because to me, lot. being conservative is standing for the Constitution. And I actually uh, wrote a comment the other day, and I'd read it to you, but my son is occupied. <laughs> so, uh, and I was just, you know, from my point of view, talking about how the Constitution was what laid us down as a country, as a republic, separate from the rest of the world. So that should be what we're striving to conserve. You know, not specifically Christian values, because it even says in there, in the First Amendment, that we are to have freedom of our religion mm-hmm. and yeah, practice oh, yeah. however we want, as long as we're not harming other people. Yeah. In any way, shape, or form that's, you know, physically, mentally, everything else, you know, if you're not, yeah, and financially, so. That's a big one. There's yes. a lot of people that can learn from not financially harming others for your own gain. No kidding. Big pharma. <clears throat> yeah, well, we're not going to mention about uh, the big P due to the <laughs> fact that. Uh, They'll censor our asses faster than fucking North oh, Korea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be censored. Not this soon in the game. We'll, we'll wait a couple of, uh, episodes in, and then we'll, we'll test the limits, see how far we can push the boundaries. If we can hit a 1,000 subscribers, we'll see if we can get redacted. There we go. <laughs> yes. Please like, share, subscribe, and... Hit the bell notification. Hit the bell notification. Keep updated. Don't forget to comment. Oh, yes. Comment. We want to hear from you. So, back to what I was saying, though. Um, You know, the role push from a lot of them to make it so Christian that the party itself is a church. You know, I mean, that's how strong they... Yeah, exactly. It's become more like a cult than a church, I would think. And I watched a interview the other day that uh, I think I sent to you guys. Yes. You and know, uh, But it, again, I feel like a lot of what's going on with the Republicans is out of reaction to what the Democrats are doing. And I'm not just trying to like point fingers and go, oh, it's all their fault. But they didn't start getting super religious about it until, honestly, until the Democrats got super vaxy about stuff. And we mm-hmm. started hearing about these, uh, what was it? Well, some of the Joe weird, Vax like, witnesses. Yes. And so, I mean, we have people on one side that are getting kind of, you know, semi-religious, kind of extreme, getting real pushy and like, you know, it's going to be our way or else we're going to turn this molehill into an absolute mountain and immediate nightmare for everybody. And so I feel like, again, like a lot of what the Republicans are doing is out of um, rebuttalment. Mm-hmm. Again, we're seeing an issue where our government is being reactive instead of yeah. proactive, right, even with right, each other now. Right. And, like, I get that, you know, they don't want to pander to a lot of nonsense, but that's the whole reason that a lot of people switch to the Republican Party was because they don't want to be the party of pandering, um, yet they are pandering. I was going to say, even though they are obviously pandering. To the Democrats. Yes. So what we need to focus on is what America means. For one thing, it's not Democrat versus Republican or Republican versus Democrat. It's a Democratic Republic because we're supposed to be both sides of the coin working together to keep shit flipping. Yeah. Yes, keep keep the ball rolling. Uh, that's part of what 
makes democracy so effective with long-term governance is because it can adapt, it can change, but that's as long me, as the parties aren't going against each other to yeah. such a vigorous It's gotten amount. to the point where we just need to change their names. You've got constitutional side and the woke side. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... Kind of. They're not even that woke, though. They just kind of go no, with the general I, 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 narrative. I want to know who turned that phrase, woke. Yeah, woke. I don't know. Like, I'm going to look into it. They ain't woke, dude. Their eyes so closed, they don't even know they're in the dark. <laughs> they're, they're bumping <laughs> in the walls at this point. Yeah. Stumbling over. They're bumping in their own damn shadow. That's how bad it is. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> damn it, Billy. Give me back my liquor. <laughs>